Welcome back, Jimmy Nation. This is your host, Jimmy Grace, aka G Reacts. Let's go ahead and get into today's reaction. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Um, yeah, this is your boy. All right, let me not get repetitive. Uh, this is the channel that I'm reacting to today. Is Fresh and Fit. High value man roast woman. Let's get into it. I know it's gonna be funny. When we get to roasting, it'll be a wrap. Oh, we got some baddies on that too. Especially Shotty talking right now. Mm. Shotty said, so I'm going to keep it nice. Wax. How do you say I'm gonna keep it nice and wax? Oh, dear. Damn, this nigga player, he is, bro, this man is a straight businessman, bro. I'm trying to be at his level of mentality, bro. He not into that thirst trap shit, that simping shit. This man is a real ass player, bro. A real, not even a player, just a businessman, bro. Fuck a player, he a coach. Oh, shit, I pressed the wrong button. Hold on. Uh, I, I, I muted it. There we go. This bitch in the car. <laughs> oh, did it got a little V word, bro. Look at this girl in the corner, bro. She looks so damn lost. Oh my goodness. She's the definition of a ditzy white girl, bro. Look at that girl in the corner, bro. She. Like, what the fuck is she doing there? She has no personality. At least the other girl's showing some sort of personality. She actually looking at him. She like she got an opinion like a motherfucker, but can't say shit because she got to let him talk. She's more submissive, but yo. Then we got the other girl in the corner, the other brunette in the middle, the other white girl with the, sh the team on her shirt. She's more just like there, like, mm -hmm. like she's she like she want to tweet something. And then we got the brown skin girl. She's just like, okay, he sounded about right. He sounded like he's talking. And then we got the fine ass girl with the big old juicy watermelon breasts in the orange, right in the far, far right corner. Far, far, far left corner. I don't know if y'all looking at it from us in the viewpoint, whatever. Anyway, the one that just said she, she'll wax it and, you know, keep it nice and wax for you. But we all just thirst trapping and very just pretty women, but it's just like, you got to be more than just pretty to be, you know what I'm saying, with the man like this, you know what I'm saying? Now, some guys will fall for that because a lot of guys, you know what I'm saying, be just want to have a woman in their life that's, you know what I'm saying, trophy worthy, a trophy worthy wife looking woman, you know what I'm saying? But don't maintain those qualities of an all around woman and just looks pretty for, for the camera type of woman. Uh, we, we should be more demanding than just a shallow glitz and glam looking girl you know what i'm saying now that's what really makes me 
fuck with this guy right here because he actually speaking up and speaking the truth, speaking his truth. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody thinks like him, but I, I personally like his point of view and I want to manifest that type of mentality because this man is a boss ass nigga. And we just gonna keep it real like that, we'll keep it real. This man, he, he the truth, man. He he's what every businessman should be like, bro. About that business, nothing more, nothing less. And then also want a woman that is able to entice his productivity and enhance him and give him the incentive not only to just want to have sexual relations and beneficial uh, uh, glitz and glam lifestyle, but just being able to have a woman that's able to match his energy, his his level of, of productivity, and just do what's necessary for the both of them. You know what I'm saying? He needs a yin to his yang. He needs somebody that's equally yoked. Not somebody that's just there just for in the stroke. Oh, that's a bar. Someone, yeah, he needs somebody there that's equally yoked. Not just someone to stroke. Oh, not just someone to stroke. Not just someone to stroke. Hey, he needs someone equally yoked. Not just someone to stroke. You know what I'm saying, bro? Trying to put it in the back. You don't know what I do. When I put it in the back, she be like, ooh, ooh, ooh. I be like, ooh, 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 ooh. Hit it for the back. Ooh, 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 ooh. Keep on going. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, let me stop. Let me chill out. All right, let's get back to business. girls in the room was like, damn, bitch, you should have shut the fuck up. Now, now he gonna roast the shit out of you, bitch. Damn, why the baddest bitch gotta open her mouth, bro? This is the shit that Steph's is cold be talking about, bro. This is what all the alpha male channels be talking about. MJ get right, Steph is cold. They be talking about women like her, bro. They think they the baddest thing in the world. It's okay to under, to be confident in stuff and understand that, but listen to what Cole said. Pride is the devil. And the thing ain't got a hold on me, right as the devil. And tell me little R.I.P.s. She got too much pride on her hands, bruh. And she don't understand that just because she's beautiful, she got to be able to be humble about that shit. You see how the other girls are shutting the fuck up because they understand the difference between being beautiful and humble than just being overly uh, confident in yourself and thinking that you're just over everybody. And, and stepping over everybody or and being big mouth, you're gonna get shut down by a real nigga like him. He about to shut your ass down with a for real hat. He got a for real hat on. 
Yo, any nigga that wears a Pharrell hat, the the he gonna shut your ass down. This man got a cowboy fuck him up hat. Do you see how what type of fit this man's wearing? He has a boss nigga fit on. Nobody can just casually rock that shit. He has nigga. I mean young lady. <laughs> Let's go. So pull up the paperwork like she the one that wrote the fucking paper for this man to get the fucking estate. Bruh, she lied and bruh. She talking about she talking all that yin yang, but she can't even she can't even get none of that shit. She only can acquire that shit through the dependence of another person. She isn't independent in her own form of rights. Like, you know what I'm saying? She doesn't have any form of independence. She's living, she's trying to live above her means, is what I'm trying to say, man. And she's living it through other people instead of living it through her own means. And I don't see how. Why? Well, she's so called a bad bitch. If you're a bad bitch, then you should be an independent bad bitch, right? So you can talk your shit. But apparently, you don't have the paperwork to back up what the fuck you're saying. Oh, shit. Wait, wait, who just said that? You see that fucking white girl in the corner, bruh? You see her, bruh? I knew she had some form of intelligence, bruh, because she speaks at the right time. She lets him be able to formulate his words, and she doesn't over-talk him. She's just adding on to the conversation with incentive to approve of what he's saying, stating. She's just the girl that claims she's a bad bitch in the corner right here. Keep keeps over talking him. Has so much pride on her fucking shoulders because that's the lifestyle that she's been living her whole life. Oh, I'm a bad bitch. I get whatever I want. But then when she can't, when she's getting rejected by this guy, she feels like, oh no, I every guy, every girl in this room isn't saying shit. I'm the one who was saying shit. And I'm the one that gets rejected. She doesn't like rejection, especially when it when it's in a room full of people. She's being overshadowed right now. She doesn't like that shit. And you see the other brown girl in the corner, like she's just like she she's like I feel like she's like trying to side with him, but then like she also like been bad bad bitch wash. You know how she's been like brainwashed to be honest understanding of what a bad bitch is, and then. Trying to understand his point of view. I feel like she has a mixed point of view. The girl, the other brown girl. But the white girl's right on target, bro. She she knows what she wants. He knows what he wants. Shit. I don't know what to say, man. Sometimes it doesn't really matter what ethnicity you are. It just matters what your character is. And she is showing her fucking tail right now. This so-called bad bitch. So let's get back into it.
I gotta watch more of that, bro. I gotta watch more of that, bro. I will see y'all guys in the next video. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. I love each and every one of y'all. Roll to 1,000 subscribers as usual. Thank you guys for tuning in. I got this new light show for y'all specifically set it up so y'all can have something new to look at. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got the basic green light. I want to do something different for the lighting. So, you know what I'm saying? I hope y'all like the new light, light setup. I got different features that I can do on here, but this is my preferred feature I like to use. Um, but um, other than that, y'all leave a comment. Y'all let me know what y'all want me to react to next. If y'all want to see me react to another video, leave a comment. If y'all want to see me react to another one of these videos that I react to right now, leave a comment. If y'all want to see me react to another type of video, leave a like. If you want to see me just do anything, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you like my videos, if you like today's video. Um, and turn on the post notifications so you can be notified when I drop the next video. This is your boy Jimmy Craigs, aka GMV Reacts. GMV out. Peace.